I'm Diane and I will take it from here and I will teach you how to create a YouTube channel using your mobile phone. So first of all, for the sake of creating this YouTube channel, kailangan muna, na na, kailangan muna natin ng Gmail account. So, punta lang tayo dun sa Gmail app natin. Punta lang tayo sa Gmail app natin and let's create a new Gmail account. In here, let's click on create account. So, magkakaroon siya ng drop down menu. So, in here, nakalagay for my personal use or for work or my business. So, let's click on for my personal use. Then, let's add in here our, our name that we're going to use. The last name will be optional, so leave it as is. And then, for the basic information, you might want to enter your month, birth month, day, and year. And the gender. Under username, you might want to create a username na maaalala mo agad. So, let's use create with adrian at gmail.com. And then, let's click on next. And then, you might want to enter a password na maaalala mo. Hindi yung basta mo na lang makakalimutan. So, click on next. So, privacy in terms. I agree. So, after mo ma-set up yung Gmail account mo, makikreate ka na ng YouTube channel mo. So, hindi yung YouTube app ang ikiklik mo. Instead of that, you are to click your browser. So, after that, type mo lang youtube.com. So, siguro makikita mo, pagbukas mo, naka-mobile mobile version pa din siya. Click mo lang yung three dots. Magkakaroon ng drop-down menu. Then, click mo yung desktop site. Para maging desktop view siya. After that, kailangan nating mag-sign in. Gamitin lang natin yung Gmail na ginawa natin kanina. So, pagka-sign in mo, this will be your interface. Click mo lang yung profile picture sa right upper corner. And then, magkakaroon siya ng drop-down menu. Again, click mo yung create a channel. In here, lalabas yung name and handle. So, type mo lang yung handle na preferred mo na makita or maging name ng channel mo. So, gamitin na lang natin. Likewise, dun sa Gmail na create natin kanina, create with Adrian. So, makikita mo naman kung available yung handle name na yon. Magkakaroon siya ng check mark dun sa right side. So, click natin, create channel. Click mo lang yung customize channel. And then, mag-open mag siya ng new tab, which is a YouTube Studio tab. So, welcome to YouTube Studio. Click on continue. Kung may mga tabs na bukas dyan, pwede mo namang i-close lang muna yan. And then, dito sa left side ng interface, may mga menu buttons here. So, nandito tayo sa magic wand button, which is the channel customization. 
click lang nat click mo lang yung basic info sa name let's say meron kang gustong ibang ipangalan dun sa channel mo pwede mo siyang baguhin so take note kapag binago mo siya twice lang within 14 days and after that kung gusto mo siya uling baguhin you are to wait another 2 weeks for that so dun sa handle Yun na yung create natin kanina, which is create with Adrian. And then, description. Type mo lang kung gusto mo a little welcome note or yung talagang description ng channel mo kung ano bang designation niya. Which is kung cooking vlog ba siya, travel vlog, or get ready with me vlog, fashion vlog. That will be up to you. Pero, for the sake of this tutorial, let's add in a little welcome note. Hi and welcome to Create with Adrian. And then you can also add a, any language pa for language translation. So I'll stick to English na lang. So for the channel URL, Ito ay custom na ni YouTube, so we're gonna leave it as is. And then, let's proceed to link. Here on add link, which is a little bit required. The leads required talaga. You can add in here the social platform na meron ka na gusto mong i-include sa YouTube channel mo. So, here, lagay lang natin Instagram. And then, connect natin dun sa Instagram account na meron tayo. And then, for the contact info, Preferred here is email. So, lagay lang uli natin yung email address na create natin kanina, which is create with Adrian at gmail.com. So, that's it for the basic info. Let's proceed now to branding. Click lang natin yung katabi ng basic info, which is branding. In here, makikita mo yung picture, banner image, and video watermark. So, upload ka lang ng photo from your gallery. This will be your profile photo. And for the banner image, upload ka lang uli ng isang photo na gusto mo makita doon sa taas ng page mo ng YouTube page mo. And for the video watermark, this one is customizable. Yung iba, nakikita ko, nilalagyan nila ng subscribe button. So, for now, we're gonna leave it as is muna. And then, we're gonna go back to basic info again. Check mo lang kung meron ka pang kailangan baguhin or wrong spelling or gustong idagdag na link. Kung wala naman na, Okay na rin yung picture, banner, image mo. You can click on publish. So after clicking publish, a few moments later, your channel will look like this. Meron na siyang banner, image, profile, picture. Meron na rin siyang link and a welcome note or the description. Your, you can also see your handle in here. So, from here, click mo lang uli yung profile picture sa upper right corner. And then, magkakaroon uli siya ng drop-down menu. You are to click YouTube Studio. Then, click mo lang continue. So, galing na tayo dito kanina. Actually, dito tayo galing sa magic one, which is the 
channel customization. But since we're done with it, we're done with this. We're going to click the gear icon at the bottom left corner of the channel interface. And this is the settings. So dito, may kita mo agad, currency. Naka US dollar na siya, so that is a default. So click lang natin here yung channel. So again, basic info, country of residence, click lang natin. Click mo lang yan, and then magkakaroon ng drop down menu. Click mo lang kung saan country ka located, and then click Philippines. Let's add keywords. Keywords is the words na somewhat nagdi-describe ng channel mo. So let's put in here filming on Android. This is separated by comma and creativity. Again, comma. DIY. So it should look something like this. After the basic info, click lang natin, click mo lang yung advanced settings. So in here, makikita mo yung audience designation niya. No channel mo na kinagreate or yung video mo na ipopost. Yung audience designation niya do you want to set your channel as made for kids? So, if okay naman siya, kids friendly naman siya, children, child friendly naman yung video na create mo, click mo lang yes. Or kung hindi naman, or inappropriate naman siya for kids, click mo lang no. Or, the third option is, I want to review these settings for every video. So, every video na ipopost mo, lalabas tong advanced settings. So, magkakaroon ka ng chance to click on these settings. So, after advanced settings is the feature eligibility. So, Pagka-create mo ng channel mo, naka-enable agad tong standard features. So, we're gonna leave it as is. And then, let's proceed to intermediate features. Kakaroon siya ng drop-down menu again. So, para maging eligible ka or mag-enable tong intermediate features, which is required na, syempre, enabled ka sa standard, Para ma-enable naman tong intermediate features mo, you are to verify your phone number. So, click mo lang yan and then enter mo yung phone number na gagamitin mo for this YouTube channel. Or kung gusto mo yung personal number mo, pwede rin. So, kapag nag-enable ka na dito sa intermediate features, you can post now videos longer than 15 minutes, custom a thumbnail, and live stream. So, after enabling intermediate features, let's go to advanced features. In here, there are certain requirements na kailangan ba film mo, which is, syempre dapat naka-enable ka na sa intermediate features. And then, the next is a video verification, which is titignan nila kung humanoid, human ka ba talaga at hindi humanoid. And then, a valid ID and a channel history. Yung channel history, that will depend sa tagal mo nang nag-create ng content here sa YouTube. And then, sa advanced, sa advanced features, pwede ka na mag-upload ng videos daily, create shorts, pwede ka na rin mag-live stream, maglagay ng external links sa mga video mo dun sa description and then eligible ka na for monetization. So after that, balik ka lang uli sa advanced settings kung meron ka pang gustong baguhin. Basic info, check mo lang kung meron ka pang gustong idagdag sa keyword. Kung wala naman na, click on save. Send, and then click, wait ka lang ng a few minutes and then save na yung settings mo.
After that, pwede ka nang pumunta sa YouTube app or mag-download ng YouTube app. Okay, click mo lang yung view channel. And then in here, makikita mo na yung channel interface mo. Nandiyan na rin yung handle, description, and yung link ng social media na social media platform na gust gusto mong ilagay. So, you might want to click on the plus sign. Pwede ka na mag-create ngayon ng shorts, upload a video, go live, or create a post. Also, you might want to go to Play Store para mag-download rin ng YouTube Studio. Install lang natin yung YouTube Studio. So, pagkapasok mo sa YouTube Studio, ito agad yung makikita mo, yung analytics, yung channel analytics mo. Yung YouTube channel na ginawa mo. So, click mo lang yung profile picture at the right, right upper corner. And makikita mo na dito is... Um, and then, makikita mo dito yung channel na create mo. So, click mo lang yung pencil icon dun sa tabi ng profile mo. And then, in here, you'll see, pwede mo nang palitan yung banner, profile picture, yung name, yung handle. Pwede ka na rin mag-add ng di sa description mo, mag-add ng links. You might wanna ask, bakit hindi na lang tayo dito nag-create ng channel? Actually, you cannot create a channel dito sa YouTube Studio. This one's for uh, minor editing, like yung name, handle, if you wanted to change your handle, if you wanted to add more to the description and add more links. So that's it for creating a YouTube channel using your mobile phone. So, for the, our next video, isha-share ko rin naman sa'yo kung paano ma-i-inlove sa'yo si YouTube algorithm.